And hey guys, another story in the day. This one's about the real hero, Lee Duffy. Um, Lee Duffy gets shipped out, goes to um, camera shaking. In fact, do that. Shake my camera a little bit. So he goes to um, Armley, gets shipped out. He'd had a fight in Liverpool. The screws got him all rushed him, got him in the the, 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 the block, put him down there and shipped him to Wakefield. Uh, sorry, to Wakefield. Shipped in Armley. So he's in Armley. And this is where he knew the stories about Sykes as well, because he knew about him being a nuns in there, raping kids and stuff. It was all over that jail. But anyway, he gets in on the, to daytime. I think it was about, about 10 o'clock or something I got there. We get him there. Now nah, we go to him. They get him in the in this pad. Put him in the pad. He walks in the pad. I was all right. The young lad. He says, "Yeah, yeah." He says, "Oh, how are you Lee?" He says, "Are you from Bura?" And the, lady, the lad said, "Yeah." He said, "I know you, Lee." And he said, chat, chat, talk and chat. He said, "Have you got the um, tack?" And he went, "No, tack in them days means cannabis." You got any tack? And he went, "No." He said, "Yeah, knock us one up." He went, "I haven't got no rollies or no." No tobacco, and, and yeah, get that done. Anyway, this is they're there, and smoking a bit of a joint. Anyway, anyway, these two black lads come to the door, rasta lads, rasta hair, big lads. What, where's the fucking money at you? I, I, I'll have it today. She's going, she said, I want it before, I want it before dinner's finished because the dinner was coming up. The day worked on the surface and stuff, these two, they worked on the, the clean up, the mopping up, and everything. So they're like, uh, orderlies, they call them. So they run the jail, this kid said. So he said, I want the money when you soon as your door's open. So he said, as soon as I see you in the line, you know, the gravy line, I call it, and you stand when you're going for your food. So he went, what do you owe mate? He said, how you owe the money for tack, cannabis? He said, uh, when our lass is coming to the age, she's going to pay it. She's, she's definitely coming in, very, I spoke to her on the phone this morning. He said, she's coming today. So anyway, well, he said, oh, okay then. So anyway, the bell went, dinner. Oh, the doors open, screws you clear them up, you open your doors. Dinner, 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 they go around opening the doors. They call them turners, because they put the key in the door and turners. And they call them screws, because they used to put thumb screws on years ago. That, that, that's where the sayings come from. So anyway, the screws are coming around, opening the doors. People are standing in the gravy line, which is a queue to us, and waiting for the food. So there's a, there's a big queue that way, and then there's a wall there like that on the side of this. He stood around there, and he said, the kid, how are Oh, then he said, I'm going to have to wait. Our last comes getting money. He went, You can't have no fucking dinner. You've had no since this morning. He went, No, he said, get, get out now. So he threatened to come out and he comes out. He said, I'm, I'm going to get. You could just come with me. They'll come near you. Just stand near me. And just point them out if you see them. Just say, you know, Just move. Whatever code you give them, he'd say, like, say, you'd say, Stand to the left or whatever. I do this or do that. I'd scratch your eye cleverly. Very clever. You know, very clever. So say if, so he says, scratch your eye like that, that means it sees two. So anyway, they came coming up forward and he done the thing on his eye. And the next minute, Lee stood there and he went, yo, want the money? He went, he, so he stood in front of the kid and in front of these two, so the boss right in front of him. He went, leave the kid, leave, leave the lad alone. He said, he's going to get his business to come up on him. I'll guarantee him a name. He said, I'll, who the fuck do you think you are? And he, went, and he just went, bang, right, uppercut, left, uppercut, whatever combinations he hit them with, and knocked them both out. So it would have been probably like somebody knocking Viv Graham and Annie Buick out, or um, Roy Shaw and uh, Lenny McLean in that same type of stamp. These two lads, were the, the run like that area where they live, Leeds. Not saying they run the whole of Leeds, but they run the, 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 the jail part where they were at. So anyway, fucking they knocked them out, and everyone was like, fuck it hell, you see that? Just knocked them clean out, but one punch each knocked them out, and they were all talking about Lee in there. Next minute, goes for the dinner, comes out of the dinner, then his pad grabbed him, boom, another for prison, shipped him out again. And he stayed about four hours or something, five, six hours, he was in the jail, and they moved him out again. Put him down, put it on the block fest a couple of days, and then they moved him out. So poor Lee, but he saved that kid as well. Another young lad he saves at the end of the day. So there's a lot more stories about the Duff to come, loads and loads of different carry-ons, funny stories to tell you. Keep listening, keep pushing the like buttons, um, and I'll see you all soon, guys. Thanks very much for listening to me.